Welcome to Art Roulette Home. This is Miss Grams. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Danger and Dragon Mountains because I know that some of you are learning about volcanoes. There's many ways to make a volcano. This is one way. It's just a paper cone and I have a little bit of lava, shiny paper taped to a popsicle stick and you can just stick it up through the middle of the cone and ooh, it explodes. That is one way to make a cool volcano. I'll put that over in the Dragon Mountains. But today I'm going to show you how to make something really super fun. Um, something a little bit squishy. You know, I've been missing working with clay projects. And this is a way you can make clay that explodes. This kind of clay is just baking soda. I've got one cup of baking soda. Put it in a mixing bowl. Now I'm going to add... Start with about three tablespoons of water. One, two, three, four, little spill, three. And because I just like to do it like this today, I'm gonna make a little color in there. You don't have to do food coloring, but I'm going to. A little green, a little red. What, what, what do you predict is gonna happen? Ooh. A little green, a little red. Now the squish. Get ready. I'm gonna go in there and squish, squish, squish. It's got to squish into a ball. Ooh, the colors. <laughs> it's looking, it's looking very volcano-ish. I think it's 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 a mountain color. It's getting a little grayish. That's perfect. Good color. Now what you want to do? You've got to squish it until you can squish it together and it stays stuck. Okay, so test it out. Put it in your hands, make a ball. Well, that's pretty good. But I want all of it. If it's not squishing, you might need a little bit more water. You could try a little bit. If you get it too wet, it's not such a problem. It just takes longer to dry. You're not gonna be able to explode your, drag, your, your volcano right away because it has to dry well, at least overnight, sometimes a couple days, depending on how much water you put in there. Okay, it's getting, it's getting ready. Okay. Now, well, it's a nice color. Red and green made this nice kind of brownish color. It still is kind of crumbly. I think I want a little bit more water in there even. So, yeah. Make it nice and squishy. Now it's staying together a little bit better. And what you want to do, now see I'm shaping it into a mountain shape, like that. Shaped into a mountain kind of, just kind of squeezing the top. Now they're, these are very delicate. Okay, um, I let mine dry. I have an old cookie sheet here. You can see I made a green one. I'm going to just set this brownish one right next to it. Put it there, Ooh, it's crumbling off. Now, this part, um, I'm gonna put my thumb, you can use your finger right, now hold on to it, right down the middle, that's where the magma is gonna go. That's where, that's where you're gonna put the exploding stuff. So you wanna pat it very gently, it's crumbly, but you can just have to keep it together, give it a little pat, a little love there. Now you're gonna let, don't touch it, another second. When it's ready, you've got to leave it go. Just let it sit there overnight. Don't touch it. Um, I have one ready to go that I made before. Okay, these little guys here, I'm gonna put them in my setting for the dragon story. Now, if you have a little brother or sister or another grown up at home, you can play this out when you're ready to explode your volcano. Oh, first I wanna paint it because a white mountain doesn't really do it for me. So I made some paint. You can do this too. A little bit of water. And I'm making some paint. A little bit of water. And our friend the food coloring. Put it in there. Ooh. Squeeze it in. And now a brush. You can just kind of, oh yeah. Just sort of gently paint it like that. I don't know if I want a pink mountain because 
I'm going to do this um, volcano thing. So I wanted it to be, oh yeah, kind of a dark, oh, this is some blue paint I put on there. Dark color like that. Oh, maybe a little green. Oh yeah. You paint your volcano. Now, if you've already done the food coloring inside the dough, you might not want to paint it so much. That's up to you, that part. Now the explosion. Okay, I'm ready for the explosion. Now, if you have, like I said, a grown up in your house or a brother or sister, maybe they can fly the dragons. The dragons are coming over the mountain. It's getting dangerous. Oh, you don't know how dangerous it's gonna be. I'm gonna put in a little bit of red paint because I want some reddish lava, a little squirt of red, a little dish soap, okay? Because I want it bubbly. Okay, let's see. Now this is vinegar. Okay, I'm not even measuring it, I'm just gonna pour it. There it goes, there it goes. It's foaming over, did it foam? It didn't foam on the right side. Here, it's foaming there, it's foamed like that. Let's try another one. I'm gonna try this little guy again. This one has already exploded a few times. A little dish soap, a little red paint. Okay, and a little, little bit of vinegar. Oh, there it goes, whoa! That was a bubbly one. Oh, I think the dragons would be really scared if they flew over and saw that happening. Well, I hope you try this at home. If you do, take a picture, put it on Seesaw. I'd love to see it. Bye.